Greetings. My name is Haley Cooperwriter, and I am an instructional literacy coach for Isle of Wight County Schools with a mission of growing lifelong readers and writers. It is so important to think while we read, and the next few videos will show you exactly how to do that. We think while we read so that we can understand what we are reading or comprehend. The fourth strategy we're going to learn about is asking questions. I ask questions and wonder things all the time. And here we're going to do it with books. Our brains are naturally curious, and so we are always asking questions and wondering things about our world around us. Today, we're going to do it with books. When you are asking questions and wondering things in books, you're thinking about what you're reading so that you're really, truly comprehending and understanding what you're reading even better. So we're going to do that today with asking questions and making and wondering things with Pinduly by Janelle Cannon. I'm not going to read you the whole story, so if you're interested, you're going to have to check it out. I can ask questions or I can wonder things even before I read. So right now I'm wondering, why does Pinduly look so happy? I'm also wondering, what kind of animal is this? Is it a he or a she? I'm also wondering, what's going to happen in this story? I'm getting my brain ready to think about the story that I'm about to read. So my first, I keep, I start reading and I read to find out that the animals had been sleeping all through the hot afternoon and now they began to stir. Pinduly awoke before Mama Hyena, eager to explore. Oh, Pinduly is a hyena. I have found out the answer to my question. So then I'm going to keep reading and I'm going to keep wondering things. And the next thing I'm wondering when I'm reading this page is, why are the dogs so mean? Listen, watch out, dog. It's a hyena. Just a shrimpy one, dog scoffed, coming closer. If I didn't have all that stripy fur, those ears would make me think it was a baby elephant. The pack erupted into a wheezing laughter and glumped away tongues lolling. So they were teasing Penduli. Look at how sad she was. So I wonder why were they teasing her? I don't understand why they were being so mean. So I'm going to keep reading and then I get to this part where Penduli lays around in some dust and everybody thinks that she's a ghost. All right. So here's Penduli and she's talking to the dogs that were just teasing her but they don't know it was her. Go on, dog, said Penduli in a slow, deep voice. The spirits want to know why you would make fun of a young hyena's ears. Dog's voice quavered. I, I don't know. I guess I was still mad at Fennec Fox for calling me Butterfly Head. Oh. So the dogs were mad because somebody else was teasing them, so then they decided to tease somebody else. Hmm, that's not a very good thing to do, is it? But now I got my question answered about why the dogs were being so mean. You're going to have to read to find out why if they do stop. But at the very end, I can also ask questions or I can wonder things after I read. And at the end, they get food delivered to them every single day. So my wonder is, do they? does that happen for the rest of their lives? Do they always have food? Now, there's no more story to read. So it's a wonder that I have, but I can keep thinking about that. So you can ask questions and you can wonder before you start reading. You can ask questions and wonder during reading, and you can ask questions and wonder after your reading. You can also talk about all of those questions and wonders that you have with somebody. You can say, hey, read this. Now your job is to wonder and ask questions before you read, during reading, and after reading. Stay tuned for more videos, and then don't forget to read, read, read every single day.